Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In the last part, we have successfully deployed our Mantrack app, and in this video, we are going to refactor the project. Okay, so I have also listed down some of the points. Here is my list. I need to do some stuff in the front end and do some stuff in the back end. Okay, so this will be a really short video. Let's just do it. So the first bug is in the drop zone component. Let me show you. <laughs> Inside this drop zone component, let me just drop a file. Fine, click on upload. It's uploading perfectly fine. And now if I just click on this upload new file and now just drop a file. Let's say again this video stats. Now look at this. I have not clicked on this button, but it is still showing uploading. So this is a bug. I need to reset this button state. So for that, just go to the home page index.tsx and here inside this reset component function I need to reset the upload state so I have just commented that out let me just uncomment this fine this should be set upload state which is upload again as this is upload at the initial state right so now just save this and let's see and refresh the page okay let me just select a file mm -hmm. cool click on upload uploading fine click on new upload again file and now look at this it is upload click on upload and it is uploading fine so the first bug is killed and let's see the next one and by the way this bug was found by sora one of my subscriber thanks to the community okay next one is environment variable which is local host 8000 yeah so just go to env.local on the client okay here as this api based endpoint environment variable i have set this to https cr file back in heroku app which is not technically right because in the development mode, it should be a localhost 8000. So let me just replace this with the localhost 8000. Put it here, remove this temp. Fine. And then see the next one. Remove tailwind CSS from underscore app. Yep. So just go to underscore app.tsx. Here, I have accidentally imported this tailwind CSS slash tailwind.css, which is not needed. So I can just remove this. And that is because in my global CSS, I've imported all these tailwind directives. Okay, so I don't need that the junk file, the junk CSS file. <laughs> That's it for this one. Let's see the next one. Okay, tailwind color. So let's go to the home page and look at the border color. The border color is white. I want this orange. So just go to tailwind config file. Let's go to tailwind config file. Actually, the problem is I have put a wrong hex code. Like F3, F7, FD is not right. It should be FFC 26D. I need to just put it here. Fine. Save this and now just refresh the page. You should see a beta UI. <laughs> it should be yellow or orange, whatever. Yeah, fine. It looks much better. Let's see the next one. I guess I'm done with the front end. Yeah, I'm done with the front end. Now just go to back end. I need to add the validation on email endpoint. So just go to the routes. I mean server slash routes slash files.ts. Here inside this email post endpoint, I need to add the validation. This will be a really simple validation. I'll be just checking if any of these fields are null or empty. I'll return this with a status code 400. I mean bad request. So if this is not ID or not email from, come on my BS code, and then not email to, if this happens, I respond with a status code, return response with a status code 400. And the message is all fields are required message all fields are required fine so that's the first one let's see the next one okay just check if the email is already sent or not and how can we check this just go to the file model here we have defined two extra fields which is sender and the receiver so if the sender field is not empty it means the file is already sent so let's do that after this files.ts here after getting the file, I'll be checking this file.sender field and if the field is not empty, it means the file is already sent with a status code 400. So just save this and now just go to .env.local again. I should have also changed this one which is next public API based endpoint. I have not done that. So just make this also HTTP localhost 8000. Save this. Fine. And now we have another bug in my front end. And that is just go to the email form here after getting the message it should not be error.data it should be error.response.data 
fine just save this and now just check the functionality refresh the page drag and drop a file click on upload fine email from just put any random id which is gmail.com and then email to which is again any random dot com click on email and the email is sent click on email again and this time it is showing file is already sent beautiful and let's see the next one i guess i'm done with the refactoring yep i'm done with this oh responsive layout and now i'm leaving this up to you just try to figure out how to make this page responsive this is around four or five lines of tailwind css code and in case if you can't figure out how to make this page responsive i'll put this code in the description box please check those out okay so that's it i guess for this project that's it for this project but that's not the end of this video and that is because now if you just push the code to the main branch it will automatically deploy your project for the front end let me just open the terminal and both the front end and the back end is wrapped with the ci cd so don't worry just push the code to the main branch again git add dot for the client git commit you know refactored or something like that refactored cool and now git push and that will push my code to the main branch as i am on the main branch fine now just go to server again git add dot git commit uh, refactored again refactored and now just git push it will push my code to the github and as the github is connected to the heroku and the heroku server will be redeployed fine close this so after two or three minutes you could see your updated project cool so that's it for this video that's it for this project if you have finished the project please let me know i'll be super happy so yeah see you in the next video with another exciting project till then bye